We just got a bunch of leaks on our bunch but four leaks and I was just about to go check the price for each set so I can tell you guys and then I saw we just got pictures of the box like I'm really excited for these sets and maybe not all of them I'm gonna tell you guys uh, like every single set of course uh, it's four sets two season three Mandalorian sets and then one new x-wing slash luke skywalker's mech not really exciting at all i don't think it look good i'm not interesting like i don't really care the thing i'm most like the thing i'm actually most excited for is that it's the captain rex y-wing microfighter uh, i know it's it's two really disappointing things uh but one of them is i'm really excited I, i'm gonna tell you guys but let's just jump into like I'm just gonna tell you guys about these four sets. We have we have some pictures. Uh, I'm actually really excited. We're gonna start talking about the two season three Mandalorian sets. One of them is a little I don't know uh, you can you can't really call it a battle pack. It's a little too big and it's twenty dollars. We get two of the like I don't uh, sorry I don't really know their names, but they're like white Mandalorians that that is on Moff get inside basically like the evil Mandalorians basically. And then we have two. Pretty de like normal looking Mandalorian from the Mandalorian TV show. I mean, it's not the exact same ones we got like in twenty twenty three and twenty twenty two. They're kind of similar. I'm, I'm like I'm like I'm I'm not, I'm not super excited. Like I I don't really care super much about it. But it's a good price. I mean, twenty dollars for that little build and four minifigures. And we have these like this like bend stick that is like transparent. I don't really know that, what the piece called, but it looks really cool. I know we've seen that in some Marvel sets before. Looks really cool. Finally happy to have that in Star Wars. And then the second season three Mandalorian set is the Pacifist does death. This set is exciting. I mean, this set is just forty dollars. We get a, we get some good minifigures. We get five minifigures. We have two Praetorian guards. Uh, that looks okay. The helmets is not the most satisfying looking. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we have Moff Gideon. The, the right helmet choice, like they they remade the helmet. They did not reuse the the like the armor and the Gar Saxon helmet that I like. I know some people are really disappointed that I used like the the arm like the Gar Saxon's uh, helmet for the armor. I don't think it, it's not the end of the world, but I'm glad they didn't reuse it again. Now they actually have a new mold for Gar uh, Moff Gideon's helmet, which looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie. And then we of course have Pass Vista, which look exactly, I think it is the exact same Pass Vista minifigure that we got in 2021 with this, the armor set. I don't really know what the set called, but you know the one with the armor, Mandalorian and Pass Vista, of course. So we got Pass Vista. I think that minifigure went up crazy in value in like 2021, 2022. But now the whole, you can get the whole set sealed with a lot of other, not a lot of other minifigures, but other minifigures. And it'll build for his forty dollars. So I think that the Pass Vista can go down in value. Sorry, sorry for you guys who invested in him. But anyway, that set looks really good. I mean, you get Pass Vista, two Praetorian guards, and Moff Gideon. Also, you get Moff Gideon's normal like headpiece and his hair. Uh, I don't know if it's the exact time we got before, but you know, it's forty dollars. I would say that's a pretty good deal, and I'm I'm definitely picking this up. I mean, if it did, it, it, if it wouldn't have like Moff Gideon, or you remove Moff Gideon or Pass Vista, I will not get this like one of them. But because both of them are in the set, I will definitely get it. Forty dollars, that's not a lot. It's not overpriced. It looks really cool. But that was the season three Mandalorian set. So let's jump into the two other sets. One of them is my favorite or most exciting, and the other one is definitely the least exciting. Let's start with the least exciting. The X-Wing slash Luke Skywalker's, like Luke Skywalker's mech. So boring. I'm not interested. I do not care. I don't think it looks good. I probably won't buy this. It's $16. Uh, it's not overpriced or anything like that. It's just like, why do I want this? It's not even a looking minifigure. We get like $16. I can, I already have Luke as an X-Wing pilot. I don't really care about this. I mean, they're not real cool. It's in fact, there. it's not the one they had in the UCS X-Wing. So they didn't reuse the UCS version, but with that said, that was exactly what they did for the Captain Rex, and I know people are so upset with this. Uh, I'm I'm not really, because I didn't buy the $650 UCS vendor set, which I, I just didn't have enough money, uh, but I would like to have that set, but... I, I understand that people are really upset like, and Lego literally lied because in the instruction booklet they literally wrote and said both minifigures are exclusive to this set and not even a year later, just half a year, six months later, they will like release this set which is a Captain Rex's Y-Wing microfighter with the exact same minifigure that we got in the UCS, $650 UCS vendor set and I mean it's not even that they like reused the minifigure. I don't care. I'm just excited because I'm getting a face to Rex finally. I don't even have the 2013 one. 
So I'm really excited, but I understand people that spend that spend literally six hundred fifty dollar on a UCS set where it literally said both minifigures are are exclusive to the set, and then I said not even a year later they're like just re re release the Captain Rex in a set. It would be other than it's not even a price set. This set is going to be thirteen dollars. A micro fighter X and X wing, Y wing. Of course, it's super sad that they didn't do a big uh, Y wing like that one. That, that's a resistance Y wing. Really boring set. Uh, it's real sad that they didn't make like a you know minifigure scale Y wing. They went with the micro fighter. Uh, yes, really sad. But I said thirteen dollars, not even twenty dollars for a phase two Captain Rex. I'm definitely getting a few of these, not because I think that Captain Rex will go up much in value, but you know how we went with the old Captain Rex Phase 2? That went up crazy in value. Uh, the, this new one already, you can find this right now for like $100. But of course, who is dumb? Like, if you buy the Captain Rex Phase 2 from the vendor now for $100, you're just dumb. You can just wait like one month, I think it is. In June 1st, these will get released, at, at least in Europe. Uh, I think the only place or the only continent is... North America, they will get released per, uh, like August 1st, right there, but June 1st, for, at least for me. I'm in Europe, so I'm fine. I don't know about like. I'm just really excited because I will get a face to Captain Rex. And I said, I will probably buy like, maybe not five, but you know, at least three of them. Like, come on, that's not even gonna, that's gonna, that's not gonna be $30 for three Captain Rex. Like, yeah, I said, I probably, I'm not plan. I, I don't really think this minifigure will go up crazy in value, but I said, you never know. The, the latest face to minifigure, the face to Captain Rex minifigure, went up crazy and this one did too like a month ago when we wasn't like sure this set will be released this micro fighter that minifigure sold like for a hundred dollars like old captain rex like not the old one the new captain rex sorry it literally sold for like 100 200 dollars maybe not 200 but at least a hundred dollars i saw it got sold for 200 dollars and i mean now you can literally get the exact same minifigure in a 13 dollars set you can literally get like 10 of them for the price, you could get one of them before, and now we can get them like in a sealed set. Anyway, that's that. That's it for sets. We have two season three Mandalorian sets. The one with past Vista, past Vista Death look really cool. I love the door design that it made. It is, it's a good set. And then we have the other like probably it's not a battle pack, but it kind of is. Like if you just look at the minifigures, uh, twenty dollars, perfect. Like looks really good. And then we have the uh, not Mike Friday, um, Luke Skywalker's X wing my uh, mech uh, really weird set i don't think it looked good at all actually i like like made i don't it doesn't look bad okay yeah it does and then of course the most exciting thing at least for me is the yeah captain rex's y-wing micro fighter that is doesn't look good i the set i will not even have on display i will sort that down have it right here in my pieces but anyway i, I yeah I'm just, I'm just really excited. I'm gonna get a phase two Captain Rex, not just one, uh, a few ones. And I'm, of course, I'm gonna keep the other ones sealed. Comment, like, which which sets are you like planning on getting? Like, you gotta get some, they're so cheap. Like, all of this together is like, I don't know if all of these together is $100. I think like, yeah, quick math, like around $100, all of these four sets is. Like, it's gonna be, that's, yeah. It's gonna be good, I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, yeah, what do you think of this? Like, do you have the $650 UCS vendor set with the Captain Rex? Are you angry? It's like, 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 literally lied. It's just, it's just, that. that's just, like, I said, I'm still excited, but it's just, it's just, yeah. They literally lied. It literally says, are exclusive. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.